Miss Sweden. Will you please come right down here? She is Celia Rhoda of Gothenburg. She's 17 years old, and uh, she has just finished school. And what are your plans? My plan is to go to New York for modeling. And, yeah, to traveling, to try to come out and see different kind of arts and people and to learn as much language as I can. Very good. Now, you heard my conversation with Miss Mexico about the men in Texas. Tell me, have you met any men here in Mexico? Well, actually, I have. I met one. He has green eyes. He's beautiful. His name is Jorge. He's five years and he's my chaperone's son. So he's cute. five years old? Oh, yeah. <laughs> May, maybe if you become Miss Universe, he can be your escort. He's oh. a little short, but he's probably a fine dancer. Yes, they're the best in order. Yes. Well, I better say so much. Thank you very much. Miss Sweden. Wait for a moment for Miss Sweden's composite score. And talk with Miss USA. Miss USA is Judy Anderson. She's from Honolulu. She's 20 years old. And she was crowned on April 29th in Charleston, South Carolina. And since then, I have been told you have visited the White House in Washington, D.C. Yes, I have. I got to meet Jimmy Carter, and it was excellent. He's you, really nice. You met President Carter? Yes. What did you talk about? Well, he told me he'll never judge a pageant again because he made so many enemies. <laughs> he was the judge of a, yeah. of a pageant? A Miss um, Georgia pageant. I see. Yeah. He probably thought judging pageants was tough until he became president of the United States. So. What about Amy? Do you suppose she might be watching yeah, tonight? She is going to be watching. Is she really? Yes. Does she watch beauty pageants? All the time. Good for her. Amy, maybe you'll be here with us in 1988, but your father cannot be a judge, can he? <laughs> no. Miss USA, I hope you have fun here in Mexico. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the judges are punching away at the buttons now. We wait for a moment. And continue with Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia, would you join me out here? She is Shirley Stein. She's from Bogota. She's 18. Shirley, do you remember the first meeting we had here in Acapulco? Yes, I do. Where were we? We were in the elevator. And what did you say? I said, Bob, I admire you. No, and the you... best phrase I like is, come on down, and you didn't call it. You said, come on down, Bob Barker. And I asked you how in the world you had seen The Price is Right, which is something that we say on The, on the Price is Right. Come on down. What, uh, uh, what did you tell me then? You had lived in the United States? Oh, for yes. Five years? I told you I lived in five years in LA, and I had the chance to learn the English because I finished my grammar school and my junior high there. Now you're living in Colombia, and is your family going to watch the pageant? They sure are. <laughs> Who will be watching? How many? Well, around 50 people. In your family? Well, my family, my friends, and uh, um, in 50 people in my family, my friends, and all of my. Countries. I think that's marvelous. I hope it's a Nielsen home. Thank you very much, Miss Columbia. <laughs> now, after this composite score, I believe we're going to use our interpreter, unless Miss Belgium has learned an awful lot of English. Miss Belgium, out here, please. Miss Spain surprised me when she spoke English with me. Miss Belgium here is Francois Moons. She's from Brussels. She's 18, and the interpreter didn't even wait. I guess you do want an interpreter, do you not? This yes. bit. <laughs> Very well. Why don't you ask her if she's learned any Spanish? Que vous avez Would you just step back a bit so they can still see her face? That's fine. Est-ce que vous avez appris un peu l'espagnol? Si, un poquito. <laughs> Dígame algo en espanol. Um, say something in Spanish. Tell her to say something. Dites quelque chose en espagnol. Guadalajara. Guadalajara? That's very good. Very good. I'm going to teach her more Spanish. Acapulco? Yes. <laughs> Say Acapulco. Acapulco. Chihuahua? Chihuahua. Chihuahua? Yes, yeah, she speaks beautiful Spanish. How about English? Ask her if she speaks any, as if she says anything in English. Good luck. Can you say Anaheim? No. Anaheim. Anaheim. Azusa. Azusa. And Cucamonga. 
<laughs> You've done very well with your English and your Spanish. Thank you very much, Miss Belgium. Thank you. You see, she's learned both English and Spanish and been a very busy girl at the same time with all the rehearsals. Miss Peru. Miss Peru is Olga Dumaran of Lima. She's 19 and a beautiful representative of her country. And of course, we... I beg your pardon? I don't speak English. You want an interpreter? I uh, know. You, you and I will speak English or not? No. No? No. Quiere hablar en español? Sí. <laughs> Por favor. Ask her, we have a lot of beautiful prizes for her if she wins uh, as Miss Universe. Ask her what she won when she became Miss Peru. En este certamen hay muchos premios muy bonitos. ¿Qué fue lo que ganaste cuando ganaste el certamen de Miss Peru? Una casa. A house. She won a house? Sounds as if she knows more about the prizes right than some of the others. <laughs> What is she doing? What is she going to do with her house? ¿Y qué vas a hacer con tu casa? Bueno, voy a vivir en ella después. <laughs> She's going to live in that house. She's going to live in it? As a new homeowner, ask her what she thinks of Proposition 13. No, don't. That day she would never understand that. <laughs> no, no, no. Thir Proposition 13, she would not know. No, that was for a friend of mine back in California. No, she would not understand that. Tell her that she's a beautiful, beautiful girl and I wish her well. Eres una chica muy, muy hermosa y te desea suerte. Muchas gracias. Gracias a usted. Proposition 13 for our Mexican audience, English speaking, uh, is uh, getting a great deal of publicity in the United States. And I couldn't resist throwing that in when she became a homeowner. May I have our next beauty delegate out here, Miss Chile. Marianne Mueller, she's from Santiago. She's 18, and you speak English, don't you? Yes, I do. And what are your plans for the future? Well, I'd like to be a good journalist and a good, a better model, and maybe a good mother too someday. If you're interested in journalism, you have come to the right place. You have been interviewed every place you've gone, haven't you? Yes, and I'm a little disappointed about that career after all this concept. Are you really? A you think it's bit. more fun to ask the questions or to answer them? To ask them, I think. Well, when you go back and continue your studies, perhaps one day we'll look out here among the journalists, and there you'll be, all ready to interview one of the beauty delegates. Probably. Yes. Where did you learn English? At school and with friends. Uh, you do very well. And thank you for chatting with me, Miss Chile. Here's our last composite score. You've met our 12 semi-finalists, and you've seen how the judges rated them on their interviews. Who do you think will be Miss Universe of 1978?